Not yet to Huru. Not yet to Huru. Distinguished guests, members of the media, and most importantly, my fellow delegates, today it's a historic day for Action SA on our journey to fix South Africa. When we launched Action SA on the 29th of August 2020 to fix this country, during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, many dismissed us. We were told that we'd struggle to build our support and barely attain seats in city councils. We were told that we'd struggle to build structures that would barely survive a year. We were told that we lack depth of leadership and would never be in government. But in 2021, we proved them wrong. In many eyes, we did the impossible. We emerged as the sixth largest political party nationally, despite only contesting in six out of the 278 municipalities. And in every municipality we contested, we dramatically reduced the support of the ruling party. Ladies and gentlemen, this inaugural policy conference, roughly three years since we launched, is another milestone marking our continued growth. We came together from all corners of this country to provide solutions to fix our country, South Africa. We did not provide pie-in-the-sky answers to the country's problems, but embraced practical solutions that, if and when implemented, will radically change South Africa forever. Solutions that will help us achieve a South African dream of a more prosperous future. Our focus was not on the problems we face, but on the opportunities ahead. Because the South African dream a vision for a better, more abundant, prosperous South Africa is possible. And we did so in true Action SA spirit. Our delegates were on time, friendly, and kind. Not a single chair was thrown. We deliberated rigorously without attacking each other personally. Where we lost debates, we accepted the outcome. Where we won arguments, we didn't hold it over each other. We remained humble and we, re we remain self-reflective. Delegates, you were truly exceptional. And we also changed our minds. When engaged with uh, counter-arguments, we evaluated every idea and decided on which one was best. Our sessions were fully open to the media to attend. Nothing was hidden because we are not ashamed of anything. We have nothing to hide. We set an example of transparency for other political, party to follow, political parties to follow. And collectively, we decided on the best course of action, providing policies that will meaningfully improve the lives of our people. Delegates, today, the outcome of this policy conference represents a comprehensive agenda to fix South Africa that this country has never seen before. These policies will undo the harmful legacy of the ruling party. Our policy conference delegates approved that when Action SA takes the government in 2024, on day one, 
we will re reduce the size of the cabinet to approximately 20 members. There will be no more space for freeloaders who enjoy cabinet picks. There will be no deputy ministers and their salaries, their salaries will instead go towards service delivery. What, what do we need to deputy ministers for? Every senior government manager on every level of government will undergo skills audit to ensure that they are fit for the job. Those people in positions to steal from the state will be removed. Senior office bearers, senior officials, and those engaged in the supply chain management will face regular lifestyle audits, which will happen soon after we take office. Unlike what we've seen with our current government. Delegates, we are unashamedly in our support for the empowerment of black South Africans and will be unashamed in our pursuit to achieve it. But, but this week, uh, we conference approved that when we take office, we will repeal the Triple B Act of 2003 and, and replace it with a comprehensive package of interventions under our own policy called inclusive economic empowerment. I just want you please uh, to note this. Our policy is called what? Inclusive economic empowerment. When this policy is implemented, inclusive economic empowerment, we'll see the launch of a massive opportunity fund which will fundamentally reduce inequality in South Africa. It will provide millions of funding for entrepreneurs so that South African youth can launch the next Black Lagni. We will help fund tertiary education and ignite massive public construction to make life for the most marginalized in our society easier. And we will introduce a competitive and decentralized energy market, allowing the private sector to fill in the, the current gap in electricity generation. We will eradicate and, and, uh, corruption at ESCOM, allowing us to bring rolling blackouts in South Africa. When we take over government, our policy conference approved that we will restore the rule of law in South Africa so that the economy can grow and create jobs. Life sentence will mean what? Life sentence. Prisoners will provide productive labor that benefits society. And violent criminals, including rapists, will be denied bail. We will stop prosecuting the victims of drug abuse, ensuring that drug dealers are arrested and families receive the support they need to deal with this disease. Our people will finally be able to walk freely in our streets. Delegates, after years of illegal immigration, we will secure our borders. Everyone who is in South Africa will have the paperwork to be here in our country. And if people want to come to, the, to our country, they will have to obey our laws. There will be no excuses. Action SA delegates approve that Action South, South Africa will use foreign policy to benefit the needs of our people. ZANU-PF officials who reigned Zimbabwe will not be allowed to even have bank accounts in our country, South Africa. We will reform education 
ensuring that our basic education system develops school leavers who have the skills to, per to pursue prosperity. Our delegates approved that we work towards ensuring that every single South African has the opportunity to access higher education. Action SA believes that education is the key to helping people out of poverty. Action SA will introduce a voluntary year of service for young people without the path to education or an immediate job offer, helping them to gain the additional skills to enter the job market and address our disastrously high unemployment rate. We will work towards ensuring that every single employee in South Africa receives the dignity they deserve. At every level of government, we will push for the insourcing of all core service staff and permanent workers, subject, subject to a financial and feasibility assessment. When we do these things, millions and millions of jobs will be created, inequality will be reduced, and lives will be improved. South Africans will see action in every sphere of their lives. Delegates, this will be possible when we take government next year. After these three days of discussions, the solutions will transform South Africa into a prosperous future for future generations. Our policies will achieve our South African dream. Action is possible. But the real work starts today. When we live here today, every single, every single one of us, every single activist in this room and at home has the duty to take these solutions to their homes and their communities. As Professor William Gumede told us yesterday, we will have to be at every community event and disaster, actively showing voters what can be achieved when Action SA takes over government. We should not wait only to bring action when we are in government next year, but bring action in our communities today. If we do this, we'll be able to mobilize a movement across South Africa, compelling millions of unregistered and disenfranchised voters to vote for Action SA in 2024. Every South African will know that their vote can help bring about the South African dream, that their vote will remove the ruling party and bring prosperity to all our people. Delegates, next year, Action SA will shock again. We will emerge victorious. Many will say we achieved the impossible. We wouldn't have fundamentally changed South Africa for the better. With your help, we wouldn't have started to fix South Africa. Cause we can and we will fix our country. This is the only beginning of South African story because we will fix South Africa. Because we will fix South Africa. Because we can fix South Africa. I thank you.